How's it going everybody? So today I have some spectacular goodies for you. And the spectacular should be in all caps. So this is Van der Hostia Fio Cistata, I believe, which is a really rare shrimp pool. I think this is the first time I've seen it. So it's doing some interesting movement here. I don't know whether this is a signal to neighboring gobies or whether this is a signal to the shrimp it lives with. Um, you can also see how it's breathing by moving its gill covers. Now, I filmed this in a dive site called Masaplot North, which is a fantastic dive site. I'm linking to its description. Now, this is really tricky to get close to these fish. They live in the sands, they live there you know, in these burrows with shrimp and you know they're very vigilant so if you come too close then typically what will happen is this that they will escape. Now important topic ocean plastic. These two gobies which are Lubrico gobies exigus uh, they are probably a mated couple and they live on a piece of plastic which comes from an instant soup. So these days even if you're in a relatively pristine area you will find plastic in the ocean. Actually some of these deep dives into the Philippine Trench in recent years have you know, found ocean plastic in 10,000 meters. So these gobies nevertheless they take advantage of this piece of plastic because it's it's a hiding place and it's a solid surface which is probably useful for them to lay eggs although I did not see any eggs of this couple yet. So on the one hand it's really quite aesthetic to see these yellow gobies with this silvery you know, um, plastic with a red patch but on the other hand it's sad that there is trash everywhere in this day and age in the Anthropocene. These gobies sometimes live in urchin shells of dead urchins but I've actually more than often seen them on human trash so it's, it's a very odd species actually they profit from us. This is yet another shrimp goby and check out this very striking signal uh, spot on the dorsal fin. So this is something I see in a lot of goby species that the intraspecific signaling essentially you know showing off I'm here is from the dorsal fin. Uh, yet another different species in the sands and this is a goby species which I'm actually not sure what it is. So these gobies are so difficult to, uh, difficult to ID. I'm pretty sure this one has been described but it's very tricky to keep this sand colored brownish species apart to me. Often you really have to look at some details like count the scales on the side or if you have a a dead museum specimen look at the sensory pores now this is a classic this is a whip coral goby by a ninops jungae and it lives as the name implies obviously on this whip coral which is a a type of soft coral and this is like an elongated wire can be you know up to several meters long and these whip coral gobies never leave these whip corals and they're actually not that uncommon but they're very hard to film so in this case i managed to set the camera down in the sand next to the stem of the whip coral and the gobi was right there by chance so you see there's a lot of current you see these particles and i think that provides a lot of food for this species yet another commensal or you could call it epibiot. So this goby also, like the whip coral goby, lives on a coral, but this is an encrusting coral. I think this is Pleurocytia mozambicina, and a ghost goby. Uh, you can see it catch a little bit of plankton, I believe, right here. Now, what do we have next? So 
gobies are among the smallest vertebrates, the smallest fishes and the smallest vertebrates in existence. So this is a individual of Eviota. Uh, it's one of the many species of Eviota. So these fishes are less than a centimeter in length. So this is about as small as it gets for an adult fish or you know, really any adult vertebrate. And you see there's a, there's a rich social life they're having. So they're essentially they're jousting for control of this pepper, you know, which is essentially like the, the size of the tip of a, of a finger. And then there is a small group of them and you know whenever one leaves this advantageous you know lookout point on this pepper another one comes and occupies it again this is these are not easy to film they're very very shy so you essentially have to have them cooperate now what is this it is a worm fish a curious worm fish and this is not a goby, but the worm fishes, they are the microdesmida, they are actually closely related to the gobies. So they're in this whole complex of this a small elongated fish families to which the gobies belong. Now we see these usually relatively deep, so it's a 20 meters plus, and they are hovering just a few centimeters above the sand. I'm not sure what they're feeding on. I'm, I'm suspecting also plankton. And the fish was swimming, but it was swimming to stay in place. So uh, it was not going anywhere. It was just essentially uh, in the current there. Now, this is another interesting family of fishes, which is close to the Govis. These are the sand divers. And as the name implies, if they are threatened to dive into the sand and then only the head sticks out like in this one so i hope you enjoyed all of this like and subscribe see you soon okay i have a couple of very exciting announcements so you should listen to this first of all my new book it's called the lives of bobies uh, has been out now for a few weeks if you like my underwater videos, you probably like my underwater photography and uh, there's a lot of that in this book and a lot of, I think, really interesting information about these fascinating small fishes. So you can order it at the Asia Geographic webpage, uh, the link is below. Now, we are also, and we being my friend and colleague James Reimer, and me, we are planning a new book and it's called oceans of the future now this is about the trajectory our planet's oceans are taking with the current unfortunate level of human intervention in the health of this ocean ecosystem so with all these environmental problems how will oceans look in 500 years how will they look in 10,000 years i think it's a fascinating topic which we want to address for a lay for you know interested lay audience and if you are a publisher uh, who wants to take on our book, please contact us. And yes, finally, uh, like and subscribe if you really want to help out the channel and see more underwater videos. I also put my PayPal there. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video today. And I'm actually heading out to just another dive in the Philippines. So, see you soon.